But if you use a name like Kibi, which is not a name that is normally associated with the showbiz industry, but you have built that brand, that Kibi brand, and it's associated with you, any person that uses the Kibi brand for economic gains would be deemed by a court of competent jurisdiction to be riding on the goodwill you have built on that brand. And so you, Kidi, or Kami Eugene, as it were, would have a right to sue that person for infringing on your, on your, on your intellectual property. So and it's a good question because I was waiting for you to get there. And so to the extent that they are adding Junior to, the, to their name, I think that it it's, it's aligns towards that, okay, they intend to take advantage of somebody's goodwill or somebody's reputation to, to benefit economically without the, the original origina the originator, rather the originator of that brand benefiting from it. I was a more baby acquire from Radio Part TV so I come here some call for us say Moji or Mohomena I was social media and a so pay ye oh yeah look alike for ye. I almost see a jam more our ho and your interviews are who do be brain ah and oh my yeah oh but a yak can't I was social media no as so say a bimut me co perform me echo who management to cry this guy whiska I will call Jina as a year stage in a so I perform me to say Kwam Eugene and I said a year kiddy pepper pe I will hold a man call for any say or original a kid you know and that's a way and you look alike you know I'm for now no and I a lawyer Benson Ababonte Abekasa and they are from Wabra a year and raw joy FM Twitter space no more yet and come out to trend if I look alike in whom and a lawyer no ever cast as a crime region it to me who said you look alike a dinner stage be so epic for me more Jim Walker to ya or who quite said and run on or Timmy is you sir a young call for no I was here for young one young quality and some my lawyer no edit to ya now son ever corners my men Kyle said tap tap send a year Juma Kobia Europe Canada US who send this card their bagger now they form a more account and as a bank account but more than a cool play store and now app store and download the tap tap send app on all download you have a business or promo code and also about the part TV and they are sure about the part TV show we are first transaction or Europe, a better of five euros, so Canada, and now say US and so a better of ten dollars, UK, and five pounds into Cosnays to tap tap send up on all Federal Jumanina El Ho and for my young queen, now you could hear lawyer Bobby and Benson and Sema or can at the fire look alike for you, your cobra, yeah, to us or at the amount. <laughs> now, let's take some legal angle from you now. So, if tomorrow Kwame Eugene says that he wants to sue his look alike. Is there any law in our in our books that will make this possible? Um, okay, so there are two sources of law um, in Ghana. We have what we call the common law, and we have the statutory provision, the Acts of Parliament. So the Acts of Parliament, what I think you can look at is what they call the Unfair Competition Act. It was passed in the 90s that allow somebody to sue that another person is... Um, um, taking advantage of his reputation to make uh, undue gains economically. Then the common law... Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Can, can you hear me? Can yes. We can hear okay. you now. Okay. And the uh, common law... Was tripping, but we can hear you now. Okay. The common law of what is called passing off. So I said he could sue under the Unfair Competition Act and then the common law of passing off to make the argument that these so-called look-alike are taking advantage of his reputation and his intellectual property and his rights, image rights, whatever you want to call it, to, to, to deceive his followers, Kwame Eugene's followers. And because of that, he has lost X amount or Y amount of money because of that. But like I indicated in my opening um, remarks, the, I think that the burden would have to show, uh, the burden would be on Kwame Eugene or whoever decides to sue these people to prove that indeed they, these look-alikes represent them, they represented themselves as the A-list artist. So I heard one of your speakers say that with Kwame Eugene, somebody went to take money for a show when the organizers think they were actually dealing with Kwame Eugene. Yeah, that is Austin the, said that. Yes, that is the one instance where Kwame Eugene for sure can sue. And even the organizers can sue these people. And it's even a criminal offense. The, uh, the prosecutors will call it defrauding by false pretenses. And so there's the criminal angle to it, and there's the civil angle to it. So as long, but like I indicated, as long as the person buying these services 
know that, oh, this looks like Kwame Eugene, but I know it is not Kwame Eugene. But I just want him for a particular purpose. Then it will be difficult for, difficult for Kwame Eugene to, to make any claim on that. The, the courts will not... Um, they, they are not there to, to restrict creativity unless the creativity is used to infringe on the rights of another person. So like we normally say in constitutional law, your right ends where somebody's own begins. And so all these factors <laughs> would have to be considered before any legal action is taken or before any liability is imposed on another person legally for purportedly trying to steal the work of, of another person. So it's let, not, let me, it's not okay. a straightforward answer. Go, go on. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you another hypothetical uh, question. So mm -hmm. assuming that this lookalike goes to perform at an event. Now, mm -hmm. they don't perform the original artist's songs. They perform other general songs, but they identify as, let's say, Kiddy Jr., Kwame Eugene Jr., how does the law bind them with this particular uh, situation? In this situation, I, I think uh, I, I I honestly think those that add the junior, I think is problematic, because clearly um, you would see that there is an intention as much as possible to represent themselves as having some uh, relationship with the original artist, and so once they are mentioning their names, Kiddy Junior. Um, um, Kwame uh, Eugene Jr. or Kim Promise Jr., then they are representing themselves as having some form of relationship with Kwame Eugene or Kiddy, as it were. You know, generally, the law does not give any protection in names unless you have been able to prove that you have built a reputation or goodwill in that name. So, for instance, uh, Kwame Dazi, you cannot go to Registrar General to do, uh, sorry, or the trademark or the copyright registry to have Kwame, uh, uh, Kwame Dazi trademarked or um, you have cop copyright in that name. Because what it means is that nobody else can call his son uh, um, Kwame Dazi, right? But if you use a name like Kibi, which is not a name that is normally associated with the showbiz industry, but you have built that brand, that Kibi brand, and it's associated with you, any person that uses the Kibi brand for economic gains would be deemed by a court of competent jurisdiction to be riding on the goodwill you have built on that brand. And so you, Kiddy or Kami Eugene, as it were, would have a right to sue that person for infringing on your, on your, on your intellectual property. So and it's a good question because I was waiting for you to get there. And so to the extent that they are adding Junior to, the, to their name, I think that it's... it's it aligns towards that, okay, they intend to take advantage of somebody's goodwill or somebody's reputation to, to benefit economically without the, the original, origina the originator, rather the originator of that brand benefiting from it. Okay, lawyer, what if they spell these names differently? Let's say Kitty, and the person decides to maybe spell it. The... the the um, um the passing of is <laughs> not only <laughs> hey, Kwame, can you hear me yeah i can hear you the passing of the law against the passing of or fair competition is not only in the optics it's also in the phonetics and so um really yes it's in the phonetics because as we speak now when you mention kiddie uh -huh. I would not know whether you meant K E E D I or Q E E D I. I will hear Kiddy. And the and the phonetics is the same as the Kiddy that I know. You understand? And so the, the, the law against the passing of is not only in the optics or the visuals, but also in the phonetics. And so it will count for nothing, even if you spelt it differently, as long as they sound the same. And the test is whether an ordinary person, a reasonable person or an ordinary person who hears Kiddy would be confused whether it is Kiddy as we know him um, or the new Kiddy they look alike. And so the phonetics really counts. Well, this is interesting. So it, it means that if somebody, somebody, Bobby Bansing, and somebody spells your Bansing, let's say B U N 
S I N G, just yeah. because they sound alike, they are liable. Yeah, if as long as they are representing their product as mine, they are liable. As yours. Yeah. Okay, they let me liable. give you another situation. So the person looks like what, uh, an original artist, if you like, but the person doesn't even put himself out as that person, doesn't perform his songs, but decides to tweak, still tweak the spelling of the name. Does it still pass for that? Like I said, as long as it sounds like it. But I don't put myself, to... I'm not putting myself out there as that person. So, the so, in, so the intention so see, is not to yes, put myself out there as a exactly. person. Exactly. So you have used the right word. Once you're able to prove that there is no intention. So, for instance, you look like a medical. You are also an artist, and then you, 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 your name is hospital, <laughs> or your name is clinical, <laughs> or let's say your name is clinical, <laughs> but you look like like you, but you look like Frimpong. And then he calls himself Medica. And your name is Clinica. But you never on any platform associate your brand with his brand. Then I think that you, 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 you have not breached any of his right because it will be difficult to create that there is intention. So, okay, so generally, you know that they say great minds think alike, right? Okay, yeah. And so, and so protection of your intellectual property is not in your thoughts, but in your deeds. I was saying for now and some are our ho and on a look alike for no one saying Obe one send ye medical no no nam a yet tick talk or more yeah life any a date to meet them cross a or more pinny a year momo at the two or send a bay a brochure for and the gun of phone number send you on music and only a juma sisia or more a year or hobbies of us are not subscribing no like your page no follow ye or her sounds now called TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Nina a year at the party with me a MS Ama at the private sounds so a share beam macram.